Right now at 5, the latest from the capital city. Hundreds of Hartford public school positions getting cut because of budget problems. And Channel 3 Hartford Bureau Chief Agalal is live to explain why and which positions are getting cut. Aya. Stephanie and Mark, the superintendent, says there are several reasons why these cuts are happening. Among them, the expiration of pandemic relief funds and some of the positions that will be eliminated are some resource teacher positions as well as social workers. The Hartford public school system is cutting 387 positions across the district, 320 positions across schools, 67 at central office. While we have had modest increases from at the state level in terms of funding, uh, the funding at the local state at the local city level has remained uh, the same for 10 years, and our expenses continue to increase. Dr. Leslie Torres Rodriguez, superintendent of Hartford Public Schools, says some of the reasons for the cuts are pandemic relief funds expiring and rising tuition costs for the school choice system. Our tuition has increased in the last 10 years by about 200%. Uh, percent. And so that is a significant increase. And when we think about the expiration of the pandemic relief funding, here we are. Of the school positions getting cut, some resource teachers, social workers, and alternative programming will be affected. Hartford Mayor Arunan Arulampalam expressing concern. It, it is already so difficult within our schools. I, I worry so deeply about what is to come. We have so many veteran teachers who are leaving the teaching profession. Um, we have so many schools that are incredible schools that just don't have the levels of staffing they need. I asked the mayor if the city can step in to help the district. We are just barely balancing our own budgets. We also have the same issues of federal funding drying up. We have um, a tax base that is slightly smaller than it was last year and um, increased costs for employment. And Meanwhile, the superintendent says in the next few weeks, the district will determine how other positions may be affected. There are these uh, processes that we have to adhere to as part of our contract agreements that um, might require some teachers to uh, go to another school, right? And so we don't know that everyone will be without a position at this point. And one more thing to note, the district currently has 140 vacant positions. Some of the cuts include some of those vacant positions. Live in Hartford, Agnes, Channel 3, Eyewitness News.